A crushing blow to two of the area's regional airports. The FAA announced funding for tower controllers is being slashed as part of a $650 million sequestration cut. Chris Trankman is live at Lakelands Airport, one of the facilities hardest hit. Good evening, Chris. This is happening just as Lakelands Airport was looking to expand operations and upgrade its tower facility. Now, seven people are expected to be laid off, and now the airport is scrambling to find hundreds of thousands of dollars in lost funding. There goes another good thing. They're just taking everything away from us. Marlene Baxter says the federal government is making a mistake by cutting the half million dollars to pay for tower controllers. She says the way Lakeland Linder Airport has grown over the years, she worries about safety. I flew with friends that flew in and out of a lot of these smaller airports. So if you didn't have control, no good. <laughs> With 100,000 flights a year, Lakeland Linder is busy, but still below the Fed's 150,000 flight cutoff. It's among 149 other small airports losing tower funding, including Albert Witted Airport in St. Petersburg. This was great because we're only five miles up the road here. Marion Graham flies into Lakeland from Canada and hopes she doesn't have to drive from Orlando or Tampa if Lakeland scales back flights. The airport's biggest event, the annual Sun and Fun fly-in that draws thousands of planes from across the country, won't be affected as the government will pay for air traffic controllers from April 9th to the 14th. But day to day, the airport will need to raise cash to keep the tower going. It doesn't mean the tower's closing. It doesn't mean the airport's closing. Um, we're going to still continue to operate, um, but, you know, obviously it's not good. And what's frustrating for Sun and Fun organizers is that even though they're bringing in the traffic controllers, they may have to use some of the money raised from that event to pay for them. There's even talk of bringing in some retired controllers to work the event. We're live in Lakeland. Chris Frankman, ABC Action News.